Investigators in Loxley say Scott Bird and Dylan Tyree had help fencing thousands of dollars worth of stolen property at local pawn shops. They're not suspected of actually selling the property to the pawn shops. Police say two adults believed to be working with the teens sold the loot. They could be charged with uh, receiving of this property. Under Alabama law, minors are not allowed to pawn or sell merchandise at pawn shops. Sellers have to be at least 19 years old and pawnbrokers are required to check and document identification. They're stating right there that they are the pledger of the items and it is their items to to pawn. The Baymanette pawn shops involved in the investigation have not been identified, but we talked to the owner of a Foley pawn shop about pawn transactions. It states on the paper that they are saying that they own the property and it's not has any no liens or, or anything against it not stolen or anything like that. Roger Lowell says despite what the public might think, the pawn industry is highly regulated with checks and balances in place to ensure everything is on the up and up. It's our livelihood. I mean, think about it. It's, I, I want to sleep very well at night, so I follow the law.